so today i'm going to be doing some butterfly locks alexa off so got all my supplies right here for those of you who didn't know i'm a hairstylist i'm a braider so where's my stuff so yeah so the hair that i'm going to be using today is the free trust i'm going to be using water wave um and what's this yeah so i'm gonna be using water wave i usually would use bohemian curl but somebody gave this to me so i'm gonna just use this and then i got three packs of lulu Tress um corkscrew i only got this because it's cheaper than this this is this is 6.99 a pack and this was 4.99 so i just got three of these and two of these and we're gonna hope that it works so yeah I got my brush. I got a rat tail comb, and then I I'm trying. I'm gonna try this this new um, black castor oil eco thing. I've used this. Okay, this looks pretty thick. I actually really like their edge controls. I mean, I think this is edge control, but I really like their brand. It's really thick, so it's probably gonna have me. You know, laid and slayed or whatever. Um, take my wig kind of off, y'all. My hair is. I washed and blow dried my hair a couple days ago, so. Ooh, it's a little. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah. So yeah, I'm about to just comb my hair out. I kind of just want to break down like how to do these because I just like perfected it like literally I just perfected it so I want to teach y'all show you what type of hair you need I'm trying to debate on what length I want because my hair is pretty long so I don't I don't know if I feel like shortening my hair, like making it shorter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three pieces. Actually for the side right here, I'm gonna only do two because I don't want it to be too um what's the word? Too um too heavy right there. So you wanna brush the hair out. Or you can latch it in and then brush it which would be easier to do. So now I'm gonna just start. We got that. I'm a, this is my first time trying this, so I'm gonna let y'all know how this is. But yeah, I'm gonna... Hmm. So I usually use... I usually use this one. So both by Eco. Um, they're both the difference they're both black castor and flaxseed oil shine i don't know this is a 10 and hold i don't know maybe this one this one is just 48 hours so put that on the root i hate putting i really like really hate putting product in my hair like this but i want it to look I probably won't put it all around my hair, but I want it to look really neat in the front. So, yeah, as you can see, it, it did, it did that, it did that. So, yeah. Um, another, uh, an important thing is when you're doing styles, like, um, let's say, like, if you're doing knotless braids or something that requires your roots to be really, really, really slick, um, you should start on freshly washed and blow dried hair that has no product in it you know just like how if you were getting like a silk press or something and your hair has to be really really slick and feathery you would you wouldn't put you would barely put product in your hair a lot of people don't know that when you're doing a style like this see i don't even feel like doing it all the way down so i'm just doing it but when you're doing a style that requires your hair to be really really slick it's not going to be slick if you have oils in your hair because the product is not going to work. So, 
yeah for the best results start off i always tell my clients start off with wash blow dry hair with no product so i did okay the reason i didn't put this on my edges is because um i like to use gatsby on my edges and if i mix the product it's not going to hold if i mix gatsby with this it's not going to hold so I want my hair to last because I, I surely don't even like doing my hair anymore. So, yeah. A lot of people wonder why I braid inward, and it's because I taught myself how to braid. So, you see, it's going inward. This is how I learned how to braid. That's why I braid that way. When you're doing a style that requires your hair to be flat, make sure the, the room, the temperature in the room, make sure it's not too hot because if you sweat, the product's not gonna get a chance to um even work. Like it's just gonna turn into grease or like slide off your hair and just not even work. So yeah, that's just some things that I've learned that I didn't know was a thing. So, also it matters where you store your products. If you keep your products in the car, they're not gonna work. If you're a traveler, if you're a traveling stylist like me, I used to keep everything in my car. But if you do that, the heat, the outside heat is gonna mess up the like, the the formula in the product and it's not gonna stick it's gonna turn into grease my forehead is a big y'all I've come, I've come to like my forehead, but <laughs> it's still big. Like, <laughs> regardless if I like it or not, it's big. I know I've seen bigger, but I don't know. I'm gonna get a hairline reduction. <laughs> and I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Like, uh, Kobe, I mean, like um the bar. I'm gonna get a hairline reduction. Not too little though, cause that's just weird. It's a bar. So we just gonna put it through. Just ratchet. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There we go. And then you wanna eyelash it and then pull one half through. And then basically this side will be the anchor and this side will be what you're wrapping. So I want mine pretty short. So I'ma just wrap back up when I want it to be th that length or whatever. So at the root, I'm gonna wrap it. I always wrap three to four times, depending on what part of the head it is. So right here, I'm only gonna do three, and then I'm gonna just start wrapping. And then, so the trick to getting like the butterfly look is taking your thumb and grabbing a piece, wrapping it, wrapping it, and then letting go. So, you see? So you put your thumb, through it and then you wrap it and then you let go see so thumb 
through, wrap, let go. Rotate down through, wrap, and then let go. Then I'm gonna wrap it down. And I think this is the length that I wanted. Oh, it's gonna be hard taking these out because this is like the same length as my hair. So I'm gonna take a piece right here at the bottom and I'm gonna wrap back up. And then I'm gonna take another piece and wrap back up. When you separate it like that, it kind of creates a tangle. So it's not gonna unravel. Up. and then the longest piece take small pieces and wrap it back up and I kind of want these to be a little bit thicker now that I'm looking at it so and just wrap sometimes I tie knots and it just depends As you see, I still have my edge out. And then, yeah, so that's that. Yeah, that one's okay. I feel like the crochet needle is really good for beginners because when you've been when you've been doing locks, you don't have to worry about slippage. So. So I'm just doing the same thing that I did on that one with the thumb and then I'm going down the hair. So. And then also if you don't like your um, ends to be puffy, then it's best for you to not leave that much hair at the bottom because that's what you're going to wrap back up with. That's what makes the hair puffy. So. what I've just learned is that this hair is so much thinner than this hair so if you want it to look fluffy like this then you would get the little chest hair if you want it to look a little skinnier like this one then you would get free dress Alright, so now I'm just about to move to the back. Um, these don't hurt, by the way. But I'm also not tender-headed, so. I'm going to do my parts in the back really big. And y'all going to see. It's not going to be like too, too big, but it's going to be big. <sighs> see, I can already tell this is going to be cute. <laughs> okay.
Hey y'all, so it's literally uh, two and a half hours later. And I'm almost done, I only got four left. So, I'ma just say this style takes about three hours. Well, it took me three hours from start to finish. Um, Um, I have noticed that it probably did only take three hours because I stopped using the crochet hook only because it's so hard, it's too complicated and it slowed down the process. So I'm just like, yeah. So I'm gonna just show y'all how I've been doing it again. That's it. I'm literally just wrapping it like a regular lock and using my thumb to take out the pieces and then continuing. So I'm gonna show you how long this takes just to do one. it can take because for people like beginners it might take a little bit longer but it doesn't take long at all and I think I like it I don't know we have to see as I do my edges and stuff we'll see if I like it but I'm gonna try to stretch this to like a month or whatever but yeah this like this type of style is more my style um once in a while, I do like to wear a wig, but for the most part, I'll wear my natural hair or, you know, so see how quick that was. So I'm still taking two pieces. I'm using the Lulu Trust hair, I mean Lulu Trust hair, and then I start from the, the bottom, and then I just go through it like that, and then I do the other end. So it doesn't have to be like fully combed out, just enough so where it's like a little um, texture. What's that? You know, a little less silky, a little more texture so it can grip and give that distressed look. So I probably have about 30 in my head if that. It's not a lot in my head. So, yeah. Then when I get to end, once again, I separate it, wrap down, then I go back up, separate it, too much hair I just got done doing hair so I'm gonna just keep this in real time so y'all can see like exactly how fast it could go so I just did two in under four minutes so
her. So you can see the texture. Okay, my phone keeps dying, but you can see. You can see the texture. My parts, once again, I don't care about my parts. This is my head. But if it was like a client, of course, I would do neat, neat parts. But this in total only took, uh, I think I said two and a half hours. Yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. See you guys on my channel. Thank you.